guys, this is Karina from Mommy and Kimberly's Adventures. I am here to do another cooking video for you guys, but this is going to be the first time I've ever, ever in my life used a slow cooker. <laughs> I'm going to try and make, I know how to make pozole. I'm going to make the green pozole with pork this time, but I've never made it in a slow cooker. So we shall see how it comes out. For the first time i'm excited i've always wanted a slow cooker so my husband blessed me with this one for christmas so i'm excited to see how the pozole the green pozole pork comes out so i'll give you the step by step as i go hi guys here i am i'm gonna make uh, the green pork pozole here is the pozole here as you can see right there that's the kind that i buy Right here, two small pieces. You're going to need that. And then uh, I use this, but you could make your own salsa, your green salsa for your pozole. So I've used this on the chicken one, and it is so delicious, guys. And it's easier and quick. And then the hominies, this one is uh, the six pounds. I'm only going to use half of it, and uh, that's what you'll need to make your pozole and then of course your garlic and then your onion and then your cabbage and lemon my lemons in the refrigerator and of course your tostadas i love tostadas with our pozole so i'm going to teach you how to make it step by step but this time i'm um, like i said previously i'm going to make it in a slow cooker i've never made it in a slow cooker before i've never even used a slow cooker before so we'll see how it comes out. I'm super excited to try it and we'll see. Like I said, I'll only add uh, less than half of the hominies because that's what makes the water go up. So yeah, let's get into this and let me show you how I do it. Okay guys, I'm here. I'm gonna put some water. You can see right there. I'm gonna fill it less than half of water and then I'm gonna cut up the pork uh, and throw it in there and let it cook for about two hours and a half to three hours. It depends because like I said, I've never used a slow cooker to make pozole. This is the meat that I'm going to put. Okay, guys, um, here is the pork meat. This is just one piece. It's a pretty big size. I'm going to cut it in squares. I'm not going to show you, but I'm just going to let you see it after I cut them in squares because I'm doing it one handed right now. Um, and then I will add it to the slow cooker. And the thing is, this slow cooker, the cord is so small. <laughs> I was really surprised that it was so small, just throwing it out there. So I had to use an extension <laughs> so I could be able to cook in it. So let's get into it. And I'm going to cut it up. And then I'll show you once it all cuts up the sizes that I like to cut my pozole pork meat. Okay, guys, here it is. I know you guys get the concept. All you do is have to cut it in pieces like this. I'll show you the size, the palm of my hand, because pork shrinks. So it'll be like half of this size. So that's the way I do it. Just cut it in squares. As you can see right there, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So the next thing I'm going to do is throw it in the slow cooker i would usually just let me get it by my hand because i don't want it to make too much splash like i said this is my first time adding it <laughs> or making it in a slow cooker i've never used one before so there you go and i'm gonna add the other piece okay guys what i'm gonna do i'm gonna add half an onion and then two pieces of garlic as you can see right there all i'm gonna do is take the skin off and the skin off the onion and just throw it whole like that Okay, guys, here it is. I decided to cut the half into a half. There it goes. You can see right there. And I took the skin off. And then I took the skin off of the garlic. So what I'm going to do is just throw them in here. As you can see right there. Just throw them in there like that. And then I'm going to cook it for about two hours and a half to three hours. Like I said, this is new for me as well. So I'm excited. And I will add the, you know, the salt and the garlic salt once it's all cooked and then I will be adding the enchilada green sauce to it and the hominies as well okay guys um as you can see it's already uh locked in right there 
it locks into this little cap here and there is the pozole <laughs> so i'm going to put it on a high right there and then i'm going to set it and forget it <laughs> for about two hours and a half three hours just depends like i said this is new for me as well and i will share with you what i think so i'll see you guys in about two hours to three hours i mean two and a half to three hours sorry <laughs> So I'm gonna set the time. I'll just put it for two and a half for right now, and then take it from there. Oops, and then I'll set it. Oops, <laughs> okay, start. And there it goes. Okay guys, it's been on for two hours and a half, as you can see right there. It's pretty soft now. So now the second thing that I'm going to do, uh, it should be, ready in about an hour but i'm going to add the chili and then half of the can of hominis and then i'll close it and then i'll check it in an hour and i'll let you guys know see how it came out okay guys i'm going to add this like i said i use this for e it's easier and it tastes really good it's the green enchilada sauce it's la victoria but you can grab any kind of enchilada sauce and i'm gonna dump, dump the whole thing this is 28 ounces like i said i make mine in a regular pot but this is a slow cooker i wanted to try and see how it comes out it's coming out pretty good and not only that my husband mentioned it to me <laughs> you know i don't think about those things but um this is electric and it's it probably gonna take three hours usually on the uh stove top it would it would take two hours and a half um but we're not using propane and you guys know propane is very expensive uh so we're saving that as well using uh, uh the slow cooker so i'm happy about that <laughs> my husband just mentioned that i didn't even think about that so i'm gonna give it a swirl here oh my god it smells so good <laughs> okay the next thing that i'm going to do because i don't know how much how many I can add in here because you know look it's already almost full so I'm going to add it two cups for right now hope they don't splatter everywhere <laughs> there it goes and this is easy guys I'm actually really liking this <laughs> I really like this you know like if you just want to throw it in the slow cooker and just you know leave it and Come back and it's ready. That is awesome. I'm loving this for sure. And then I can add another two cups. So that's a, a total of four. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm going to add two more cups. Because <laughs> as you can see, it's rising. Hopefully it don't splatter everywhere. I'm really, really liking this, guys, quite a bit. <laughs> so, uh, yes, I'm going to mix it all together. You can see right here, oh my gosh, it smells amazing. Yummy, yummy for our tummies. <laughs> oh, I love pozole. This is my son and Manuel and my son Peter's favorite pozole. You know, when we have a special occasion for them, we always I always make them this. But I'm so glad that I tried the slow cooker. I'm really, really liking it. So the next thing that I'm gonna do before I close it again, leave it for an hour and it should be done within an hour uh is this garlic powder you put as much as you want like i say you don't have to if you don't want to but i want flavor <laughs> and then of course your salt and they said i don't want to add too much either guys <laughs> and you as you go and you're eating you can do it if you want to so all you do before you close it just my opinion i'm learning myself but man it's coming out pretty good <laughs> I say that myself look at that yummy look at that guys so delicious i'm pretty sure in one hour it will be ready to eat well there you go guys and so i'm going to close it and i'll show you in an hour okay guys my hubby's gonna open it for the third time it's been four hours and a half like i said usually this on the stove would be an hour and a half to two hours but it's the slow cooker and i'm so excited it smells so good look at that guys that looks delicious i'm so excited <laughs> and 
This fit how much meat, babe? Uh, it was uh, over three pounds. Over three pounds in this uh, slow cooker. Yeah. And it was... 28 ounces of the enchilada green sauce and then less than half of water in there and the hominis is six pounds 14 ounces guys and i put six cups that's what fits in here so you guys could take a note of that it's awesome i'm so excited and like i said i already put the salt the seasoning so I'll be right back and I'll serve it and then my honey will taste it for us. <laughs> okay, guys. Unfortunately, the meat is not done yet. Four hours and a half and it's still not done, but that's okay. It smells amazing. So my husband's going to put the lid back on so that we can put it for another hour and that will make it five hours and a half and we'll let you know how long it takes to cook on the slow cooker um, pozole, but it smells amazing, guys. Okay, guys, it's been six hours and a half. Look at this is the first time I've seen it bubbled, <laughs> bubbling like that. So we're going to try it again, six hours and a half. But again, it's a slow cooker, and we also save on our propane. So that is a blessing in itself. Look at that. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Okay, we're going to open it. Ooh, look at that, guys. Yummy, yummy, for a dummy. <laughs> so we're going to give it a try and see if the meat is tender enough. And if it is, that means it's done. If not, it means it's not. <laughs> okay, guys, as you can see right here, I took a piece out so you guys can see. This is the way it's supposed to be. It's supposed to break easily. I can't do it one-handed, but let me see it because it's, it's hot. <laughs> see how it just broke like that? That's what you want. That's when you know it's ready. I'm so excited to have some. Oh, sole. <laughs> My husband's like, oh, it smells so good. So, just to let you know, it took six hours and a half for this to the meat to cook all the way through. And I'm really happy and I'm excited because I just love how you just, now we know next time, we'll just add everything, leave it for six hours and a half and we'll have pozole. I could put it early in the morning and then we could have it for dinner like next time I do it. That is awesome, guys. I give this a big thumbs up. What do you give it, baby? Uh, a big bowl of pozole. <laughs> <laughs> so two thumbs up yeah two thumbs up look at that guys just look at that oh my gosh i'm so excited this is my first time using a slow cooker i'm really happy with it like they say set it and forget it <laughs> pretty cool the wonder my mother uh used to love to cook in these slow cookers and crock pots and stuff like that now i understand why she loved them so much so, yeah, that's what it took six hours and a half with this. Okay, guys, here it is. We're going to have some pozole. Um, OMG, it is so good. So all that we do is add, um, the first thing that I add is um, cabbage, like that. It's so good with cabbage. I like a lot of cabbage on mine. This one's my husband's right here. I'm going to just do mine. He can do his, how he... You know how much amount he wants and then i put a little bit of onion and then your lemon i only put a little bit of lemon on mine even though i want more <laughs> but yeah and then you just eat it with your tostadas and there you go guys this is the green pork pozole. oh my gosh look at that guys <laughs> so i already had cut this stuff uh all you do is chop up your garlic your onions that's fine i like mine really really fine and then your your lemon as you can see right there Ooh, doesn't that look delicious it smells amazing guys let me show you look at that oh my gosh look at that Ooh, my husband is already trying to come over here ha oh, baby <laughs> i just want to share that with you guys really quick look at oh my gosh it's so so i love the slow cooker so from now on i'll be making our pozole but now we know it takes how long babe six and a half six and a half, six and a half hours on the slow cooker in the, the stove top it takes uh, an hour and a half to two hours but we're saving on propane which propane is very expensive for you that know uh it's more expensive than gas but anyways with that being said and then I cut up some cucumbers because that's mine and Kimberly's favorite. 
So I just want to share that with you guys really quick. This is how I make it and I hope you guys enjoy it. And I hope you guys try it in your slow cooker. It's awesome. You just put it and leave it for six hours and a half. And I already told you how much to add and stuff like that. So thank you so much for uh, your support and your love to us. I really appreciate it from the bottom of our hearts. Um, you know that I love cooking for my family. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, I wish you would. Until the next time, guys. Bye. And remember, God is good. He is always good, my brothers and sisters. Bye.